Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video I want to show you how you can add dynamic content to your product descriptions on Wix Studio, and how you can create really unique and comprehensive product descriptions using this dyna dynamic content section that you see here at the bottom that changes based on the product that you're looking at. So now when I switch this to this t-shirt, this dynamic content down here changes and updates based on it. So I want to show you how you can do this on your own site and um, a couple of things that you want to look out for when you're trying to set it up. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see here I have this section. Now I took the time to get this section more designed than in the last video that I did on this topic because I wanted to show you how versatile it is once you get it set up to be unique to different products. So um, if you look at this one here I have a t-shirt here in this uh, our manufacturing process. I have some reviews that I put in, um, our promise, and I have a video about shipping um, that I wanted to put in here. Um, if I switch to a different product, like the turtleneck sweater, then when I come down here in the our manufacturing process, there's a picture of a sweater here. Um, this image gallery is different. It has a thumbnail where you can scroll through the different sweater pictures and get a sense for the product here. Um, again, the Our Promise section. Um, if I change this again to the minimal trucker cap, then I have my regular product description up here, and I have uh, a hat here in this gallery here. I have this Accessory, accessorize the way you want and then I have another gallery that has kind of a masonry look here and then the Our Promise section. So these are all different. They're similar but different for each product and um, that's the cool thing about the CMS, the content management system with Wix. You can add dynamic content on product pages and you can see here we have a completely different gallery here with glasses and the same our promise section. So let me show you how I created this here um, and I did everything from adding this in to adding some padding on the top and bottom of my rich content to adding some padding on my section here so this is what it would kind of look like as a finished product and you can see that you can get um, creative with how you could better showcase your products on your Wix Studio website. So what's going on here is uh, I connected the uh, products collection here. So it's this product descriptions. This is where that content lives. So it's just a product name, rich content, product type. This doesn't even have to be there. I just wanted it there and a reference field. And in the other video I did about this on YouTube, I talked about how to set up this reference and everything. But you can see if I click into here, here's where I can customize the rich content field. So. Um, once you have that set up, you have to you have to do a couple of steps. You have to have first of all Wix stores enabled on your website. You have to have Wix CMS enabled on your website, and then you have to go to this manage button up here. So you you get, instead of going to main, you have to go to your collections and then manage, and then you have to turn on in advanced settings this Wix app collections. So um, that's how you would you know get this started and there's um, some details there but once I get this all set up then basically what I'm doing is I'm telling this collection of dynamic content to rev reference this product so the one thing I wanted to show in this video is how cool it is that you can you know have similar content but different based on the product like here I have the hats because this is the hat product um, and then you could do that for every single product that you have in your store so there are a couple things that are technical about it that make it a little bit difficult. So you, of course, you have to add this rich content here uh, to a new section. So I, I kind of covered that in the other video, but you, you um, go to your product page in store pages, then you add a rich content section here. Um, and you do that through CMS. You go to uh, add content elements, and then you go to rich content, and then you would you have to connect this data set and all those things. So I already kind of have done all that. The thing that I didn't show in the last video that I wanted to show today is that um, on the data settings, so in order for this to work, it's kind of a tricky uh, 
tricky thing with the data settings. So you can see here that I have um, on my page connections, I have two data sets actually. So I have the product descriptions data set, which is the one we already looked at. That was the collection with the rich content in it. Then I have a stores and products data set that I had to add. So um, when I first set this up, I only had this data set here and this one wasn't there at all. So I had to go into add data set and then instead of choosing from my collections here, I had to go down and find the collections from the Wix app collections. And so I had to go find this products collection here. So you have to add that as a data set. And then once you add it, you have to, and see there's the data right there coming in from the online store. Um, you don't really mess with that, but once you add it, uh, you, go to data set settings and you have to add this filter here. So there's this filter that says URL slug, let's see, slug is URL slug value. So if I go to edit this, it's the field um, slug text is URL slug. So kind of confusing, but they have a whole tutorial here on the help center about how to do this. It walks you through what you have to do. And it is a bit confusing here. There's some screenshots, but it doesn't quite help. But you can see here that they have their stores, products, data set, and their details data set, which is kind of like my product data set here. Um, and then this is where they're talking about adding the filters. And this first one that they show here is actually the second filter that I added. So if I go back to my page data sets here, and then in my product description data set, um, I have a filter here as well. It's called the reference filter. And so um, it's just saying that, uh, oh, let me um, edit this filter, sorry. So it's the field is the reference products and it's the same as the store slash products data set. So basically what this means is that it's gonna display the right item in my collection with the right store product. It's going to be the same as the store product. So when I when I reference this uh, field here in my product description, if I just reference these, um, it, oops, let me go back and <laughs> reference the hat one. If I just reference these, it doesn't actually work unless I do these filters. So I can get to this point where I have everything done and I've got my reference set up and I have my rich content set up, but if I don't actually go in and set these two filters that I just showed you, it's not going to actually work dynamically. So you have to make sure that you have those two data sets that we were talking about here, the, the whatever your uh, data set that you created to show the rich content, you wanna have that one here and then you wanna have this store slash products data set and then those two filters. So this one has that reference, which is saying reference the same items as the store um, here. And then this other one is the URL slug that we talked about with the store slash products. So uh, data settings and then slug is URL slug value. Um, so I just want to showcase that because in order for this to work, you have to do that. Um, if you don't, it's not going to work. It's, you're going to be able to, you're going to set up the items in here. And then when you go to preview it or publish it, they're not going to be tied to the products. They'll just be, it'll show the wrong, uh, rich content on the wrong product if you don't. So, um, that's an important thing. And then, uh, the other thing is just the, being able to customize this so it looks like it's part of your online store. I mean, you can't even tell here now, now that this is done, um, that it's it's part of this this product description and and it's populated dynamically. So if I ever wanted to go in and add more to this, right? If I ever wanted to go and add another section, a review from a customer or another gallery or a video, all I have to do is go in here to my collection and then I just add it in. So if I add one on the um, minimal glasses here, like if I said, instead of our promise, let's say um, our lifetime guarantee, which is similar, but let's just add this real quick. Our lifetime, if I can type guarantee, and then I would make this a heading here, and then I would heading five, so it matches this other style. And then I'm gonna use our AI system to just write me um, 
write me a, a lifetime guarantee for our clothing for our minimal clothing and accessories products accessories that is in my way so I can't see what I'm quite typing but accessories products it'll we'll get it there and then this will go ahead and type this for us and then so I can continue to update these and um, now that this is here I can insert this and I don't need this heading and I don't know that I need this to be as big in fact I want this to be smaller so let's go like a heading six here and it talks about what our lifetime guarantee covers and then I just click the X button and when I come back to my product page our lifetime guarantee shows up here whereas on the other items it's not going to show up because it's not in that rich content um, so that's something that's really cool about rich content if you know what conditional fields are in content management systems conditional fields mean that you show something on one page but you don't show it on the other page and technically that doesn't really exist in Wix Studio's CMS uh, system you have to have the same uh, same fields for all the different pages but rich content is the one that allows you to have different types of content uh, unique types of content for a specific page versus another one because I could also add a video here and I could add a divider here and I could add uh, a bunch of things that don't have to be on the other pages so like this t-shirt one you won't see any of that but you do have this video here so rich content is the way to get around that conditional fields or at least the closest thing to it that I found inside of Wix Studio so that's another important thing to point out so just want to highlight what it could look like when it's all said and done and um, really cool to give you more robust product descriptions and highlight your products uh, more in depth as users scroll through the product page um, and I love how it just works dynamically once you get it set up so that is the thing with this is it's a bit trickier than some of the other CMS features because you have to do these technical filters and add data sets and do some things that sound uh, intimidating and at first they are kind of hard to get going but once you do it once it's pretty uh, pretty easy to do it again um, and I love that they have this here because I just followed the steps here and um, was able to create it for my own site so um, so those are some important things to remember, but um, really exciting things with Wix Studio so that you can, you can further customize your websites and make your online stores that much better. And so I just want to highlight that today um, and hope you guys found this video helpful. If you haven't watched the other video that I did on this, it, it would be helpful to watch how I set those, uh, the first pieces up because this kind of goes along with it. Um, it's the second part once you get it set up you would design it like it's done here um, with the padding and everything but then you also have to connect it with these data sets um, and these filters in order for it to work all right well that's what i have for today's video and i will see you in the next video